Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we are doing another tow across America, but this time, instead of a Honda Ridgeline, we are using this 2018 Toyota Tacoma Off-Road V6. We will be towing this interstate cargo trailer that is seven feet wide. It is uh, 14 feet long and eight and a half feet tall, uh, weighing dry weight to around 2,251 pounds. Now it has the capability of doing up to 7,000 pounds. It has dual axles and they have electronic brakes with the never adjust self-adjusting electric brakes. It's gonna be interesting to see how these are compared to my Roche trailer that I used to tow. Uh, it can have up to 4,749 pounds inside the cargo trailer. And uh, in comparison to the trailer that I towed my Honda Ridgeline, this is again, yeah, it was seven feet. Mine was a six foot uh, by 12 foot at uh, about eight and a half feet tall as well. So it's quite a bit different. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more resistance with this larger trailer. However, the rating for this Tacoma is much greater by a thousand pounds. The only difference about this Toyota Tacoma is that this has a upgraded transmission cooler. And you can see that right here, uh, that uh, there's a big fan right there. And that is running in conjunction with the OEM cooler. So this is gonna give it significantly better cooling capabilities. Uh, before the upgraded cooler was installed, uh, it was running roughly around 200 degrees around the city. And then after the cooler was installed, it had a significant drop to 130 degrees. So this is gonna be very interesting to see how much better uh, it's going to perform with this better cooler. The Toyota Tacoma is gonna be towing uh, about 5,700 pounds. That's with me, that's with everything that's inside the trailer. And uh, there's some stuff inside the bed as well. I'm trying to keep that weight low. And uh, we're gonna keep you guys up to date on the transmission temperature throughout the duration of this trip. We're also gonna find out what kind of fuel economy you guys can expect if you happen to do a trip this long. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. Alrighty, so now that the trailer is attached to the truck, we need to install the weight distribution hitch. And uh, interesting enough, the 4x4 is required because it doesn't have enough lifting height in order to get it off the ground. So we went and installed the clamps onto the trailer, and then I got a tape measure to measure the same distance from each side of the clamps to make sure that it's evenly distributing the weight. Now that we know that the weight is distributed evenly, we can proceed with the rest of the install. All right, so the Toyota is ready to go. Trailer's in place, weight distribution hitch. So here are the things that we got going on at the moment. Kurt weight distribution hitch. We have it at uh, one, two, three, four, the fifth one, possibly sixth. I don't know if they count this as well, uh, but uh, I was reading the manual that you can do no less than five. So that's the minimum here. And we noticed if we do five here on the weight distribution hitch, uh, the height for the front and the rear, or, front and rear uh, is exactly 34 and a half so it's perfectly level so the truck is good as far as we uh, can get it to be as level as possible we have crossed the chains we have the brake set up just in case if it ever breaks off don't think it will but in the event it does it'll automatically start braking we decided not to go with the uh, stabilizer uh, for the moment, we have everything in the truck and we're gonna uh, drill it and bolt it on if we see that we have a need for it. Um, just because uh, I know from, well, from what I've read is the uh, sway bar uh, is a little bit more difficult for backing up. I, I don't think you're allowed to back up with the sway bar and it just makes for turning a little bit more difficult. So we're just gonna use the weight distribution hitch for the moment and in the event that we need it, we will install it uh, right there on the spot as we are driving. And we also are using a Kurt wireless Bluetooth control brake controller. You've seen in my own videos. Same one that I used to tow across America, and I've been very happy with it. And the beautiful thing about this is I'm towing now with my dad's trailer, and I can just plug it right in and control it. So we'll also talk about that uh, in detail during the trip. Um, that's about it. So we have total trailer weight with items that are inside the bed and inside the truck at uh, roughly 5,751 pounds. That's me included as well. So we are still under the capacity that the truck can tow, but that way we would be a little bit safe and uh, it's gonna be fine. The other thing I wanted to mention actually is I use a scan gauge 
uh, for my toe. But my dad purchased this unit here and it's called Ultra Garage. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is gonna be the unit that I'm gonna be using and testing for this entire video. And uh, we just tested it with my scan gauge because he's gonna be towing with that Ford Econoline. Um, we may, uh, put in the codes and they're reading exactly the same for transmission temperature. So I'm confident that everything's gonna be fine. So, alrighty, let's get this show on the road. Well, it's morning today, and uh, here in, I think it's Butte, Montana, B-U-T-T-E, maybe but, anyways, Booty, um, all the hotels and motels were sold out. That's pretty crazy. Never really experienced that. Many people trying to, like, get a hotel. So, had to sleep in the truck, and uh, it's not very comfortable at all. Front seats. You cannot recline far enough uh, in such a way that you can be comfortable. And so laying down the rear actually kind of saves you. It's If you had to do a sleeping trip in a Tacoma and you had two people, well, that would really suck. But if you're one person laying down in the back, it's probably gonna be the way you're gonna wanna do it because at least your back can be straight and then the legs will You'll wake up and they're numb, and uh, that's about it. So, well, the carnage right now is pretty intense. Whoa. This is really, it's like right where the top of the truck is, is like a, like perfect, it like stops right there. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, we're gonna continue. Trailer's doing well, truck is actually doing very well, uh, towing all this weight. Um, again, we did not use the uh, stability uh, bar for the trailer. Um, what do you call it? Anti sway bar. And I have, see, I, I see no reason that you need it. Uh, as long as you properly weigh your trailer, load it, do the tongue weight correctly, I don't see the reason for it because uh, you're moving around all the time and uh, backing up here and there and if you accidentally forget and you break it well all well, those money that you just threw away so um so far so good without it and uh, i don't see that i'm gonna put it on uh, but anyways we're gonna hit the road and uh we're gonna try and find a place early this time so we don't run into this issue again we're 25 hotels and every single one was sold out that's crazy we were actually looking at one and right before we got it, it sold out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Next next place that was open was like an hour away, and I was just like, no, we're I'm done. 